Have you ever wondered what it would be like to invite the whole province to your community? Every year, one community in Ontario does just that by hosting the International Plowing Match and Rural Expo. Thousands of visitors join plowing competitors and converge on a farm field turned newly sprouted city for a week of competition, education, entertainment and fun. Your community could host this unique event. Communities across the province have reaped the benefits of hosting the International Plowing Match and Rural Expo for over 100 years. Economic and community development are just a few of the many benefits that your community will enjoy hosting the IPM. Well, we know that economic development is important in all aspects of uh, rural development. The economic spin-off, of course, is restaurants, motels, uh, bed and breakfasts, and whatnot, and uh, it's, it's just a tremendous boost to our community. Would you come to Finch if the plowing match wasn't here this year? I'd never heard of Finch before. <laughs> so I think it really draws out small communities across Ontario that people have never heard of or seen before. It gives them a chance to see part of Ontario. Same in New Lister, the year we were up to New Lister. Gave a whole bunch of people who would never have gone up there an opportunity to go up and see. Well, the benefit uh, from what I can see up there is anywhere between 15 and 20 million dollars into the community whether it's going into buying product for the IPM uh, match or whether it was going into food, motels, and, and, and into the community that way. Thousands of people that come to your community and the economic impact of that. They're spending money here, they're going to the restaurants, the hotels, and whatnot, and they're supporting your community. People are filtering through on their way back because they're staying. Um, a lot of people are here for the whole week. So if they're not camping, they're staying at our local hotel. We also bank on tourism as well. So we look forward to hosting individuals who come with an interest in the agricultural field, but have the opportunity to visit our west coast on Ontario's west coast. People are coming forward to volunteer uh, just because they want to help and they want to be a part of something that is so significant as the International Pine Match and Rural Expo. Well, I think the opportunity for people to work together on one goal, uh, the opportunity to showcase our area. The farm gates and the businesses that have put displays up and families that have uh, decorated their yards, it's, again, incredible. It's certainly a community benefit in that people in Eastern Ontario uh, are recognized as part of Ontario and gives them a benefit to, to share in the event. Uh, the, but the community involvement with, with uh, community groups, uh, Kwanians and those types of groups is, is tremendous. The other big benefit that I've seen over the years is how it gets groups across a county together. There's people I've met that I would never have met before and I think that's the, the best thing that's come out of this is just the people that you'll be friends with now for life. People that you would not meet any other way, they might be three or four roads away, become really good friends. The camaraderie and the social and the fun you have. The whole community really comes together. We really saw that um, about 10 days ago at the volunteer orientation where there was over 900 people out in a tent. People were exploding out of the sides of the tent in pouring rain. Uh, so it was just a way for the whole community to come together. There's even ur some urban people from Cornwall that came to help. The three counties helped. Just the people you got to know. That's really awesome. It's a lot of what can we do to help and how, how can I get involved. It's been a lot of fun watching that happen. Oh, it gets uh, the community, it, it gets kids out that don't know much about farming and the old way of doing things and it, it, uh, it helps out a lot that way. It, it makes a lot of people understand why we do it. What they learn firsthand, where their food gets produced. And the more people that know can tell their families and maybe there's better understanding of farmers. We had over 25,000 school children attend the show during the four days of the show and they had an experience that they would never get any other way. And we sometimes forget the importance of agriculture in our world. And especially if you're from the city like me, you just don't realize how really, really important it is. And it's a great opportunity to get back to those basics, get back to the roots, um, meet the people that make it happen. 
and see just what goes on in our great province. We think the International Plowing Ranch and Rural Expo is one of those vehicles that we have to try and spread the word about where your food really comes from and what our agriculture producers really are up to. It was a truly an honour for uh, our family to be hosting the 2014 International Pine Match. We knew we would get compaction, but there's good equipment out today that, depending how bad the rains would be, maybe a couple of years, but now, the way it looks, I think we should be getting it out this year, if not next year. We chisel plowed the field, one half of the field um, last year twice after they took everything out. And this year I put oats on the field and yeah, the little service entrance where the main traffic was going in, the oats were a little shorter. But other than that, as far as our field as a whole, it, the plowing match never hurt. It's, it's great to be at a plowing match. It's just on the local level that we can meet and greet all our customers. So Hydro One is a proud supporter. Um, we build the, the city as well as the RV park um, that supplies electricity so this event can take place. And it took us five weeks to put in about 320 poles and roughly 19 kilometers of wire. With, uh, we had 11 apprentices, two foremen plus myself. So the plowing match owns the poles and wire on this site and on the RV site, there's a contractor owns it. We build it all for them. They supply it, it's all here, and then we build it. For Hydro One, um, this is an important event because it allows us to meet the customers, the communities, um, all the folks that we, we serve. All the local municipalities got together from a volunteer perspective and as well as logistics. So they helped with the traffic control, the counties helped immensely from that perspective, and then locally, each local municipality had additional jobs, so rallying the troops the across EDOs the board. from each municipality yeah. got yeah. on board. We enjoy being here because of the people we meet, and uh, we enjoy this show because it travels to so many different towns. We meet a large group of different people, and we enjoy selling boots. In a row, I think we've done 12 years in a row. We've done it in the past, we skipped some, but we, I think it's been 12 in a row. Well, we're really pleased to be supporting agriculture and farming in our local communities across the province. We love that our bankers are able to engage with our customers in the rural setting, in their community, and meet new people. It's a great way to show our customers and potential customers our various products and services, and that we're here to help. Fifteen years ago, we were given the mandate by our members to approach the OPA and become official sponsors of the match. We use it as a venue to meet and greet our current policyholders and to look for new ones too. One of the services that OPA can provide to the local community, helping them to uh, actually find the appropriate grants and to be writing them and also to help implement those grants. And of course, the final report writing. The lasting legacy for me was that our the profits that we made were invested in the Kitchener Water Community Foundation. Over $365,000 went into that foundation. The interest income from that fund continues to feed back into the community over all these last 20 years. And our fund now stands at 420,000. We were lucky enough to kind of end up with about 500,000. We donated uh, to the hospitals for equipment and uh, our hospitals that are located in our county and uh, that was the big thing. Every year there's two scholarships to people attending agricultural college and they're from the 2010 IPM scholarship fund so it's pretty neat to see that money continue to be used for good purposes like that you know five years after the fact. The municipality needs to understand that that volunteer horsepower stays in that community to take on other projects. I sh should, absolutely should. I would say you need to take a chance. You need to look past the, the amount of work that it takes and look at the economic impact of what it can do for your region. It can really put a small town on the map and it can show people what you have to offer so that they'll maybe keep coming back as a tourist destination. It may be tough, maybe may think it's tough, but I think now that I've completed the whole thing, it's very rewarding. you got to showcase your county sometime. Like there's people in Ontario that don't know the different counties, the different areas, and it's a, it's a showcase is what, uh, what it is. And, uh, uh, I would recommend any county. I would suggest anybody get involved with it. It's, uh, it's been a, almost a four-year process, but 
I think we're all going to be pretty sad when it's over and uh, there's going to be that, uh, you know, what am I going to do next kind of thing, so it's been fun. Well, I've started competing since 1986 at the International, so to be have the opportunity to host it, have all the plowmen from across Ontario come to our farm, that was, it was just to be, it was just an honour. I was in awe for the whole week. <laughs> it's always the same when you get here, just like a family all together. It's a wonderful, wonderful program. Thank you.